If your patient has a collapsed lung or fluid in the pleural space, they're getting a chest tube. And if you're the nurse, your job starts the second that tube goes in. A chest tube drains air, blood, or fluid from the pleural cavity so that the lungs can re-expand. You'll see three main chambers, drainage, water seal, and suction control. And here's what matters. The water seal should fluctuate with breathing. This is called tidaling, and it means that the system is patent. If there's continuous bubbling in the water seal chamber, that means that there's an air leak. And then if the tidaling suddenly stops, I want you to check for a kink, a clot, or a lung re-expansion. When it comes to suction control chambers, there are two types, wet suction and dry suction. So wet suction uses sterile water, and gentle bubbling here is normal. Dry suction, on the other hand, uses a dial to control the suction. It's quieter and more accurate. Now remember, you want to keep the system below the chest, never strip the tubing, and if the chest tube comes out, you want to cover the site with a sterile occlusive dressing that's taped on three sides. And lastly, if the drainage suddenly increases or becomes bright red, call the provider immediately. If you comment chest down below, I will DM you my full chest tube nursing cheat sheet with setup tips, chamber breakdowns, and NCLEX rules.